How's it going, everybody? This is Craig Bush Rocks. Welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to talk about collecting for the PlayStation 2. I had to talk about like PlayStation 4 and Xbox and all that, but PlayStation 2 is not too bad. There is some pricey games out there, you gotta be aware of that, but other than that, not too bad collecting for it. You know, if you like this kind of videos, make sure you give it a thumbs up and all that, and subscribe and all, and subscribe, subscribe, and always hit that bell icon. But what kind of games can you get that are not too bad? I mean, there's tons and tons of games. I just grabbed a bunch of games out of my thing there. I got a whole bunch of PS2 games. We'll have to do another video like this with PS2 uh, picking up. But we'll start off with Burnout 3 Takedown. Well, this is a pretty good game, and you know, I paid five bucks for this game. Five dollars ain't bad. You, you know, if you get you know, PlayStation 2 ain't gonna cost a whole lot either. Probably get one less than a hundred dollars with two controllers and everything. Well, let me know what you think of the PlayStation 2 as your favorite console. You know, my buddy Rob, he likes PlayStation 2, he's got a bunch of PS2 games, <laughs> but he's got the the high price games like Rule of Rose and stuff like that. You know, stay away from those games unless you get the rich and famous, then go get them. But there's a lot of good games out there. Even Silent Hill 2, you could still get for about maybe a hundred bucks or so. You know, maybe shop around. You know, that's not a bad game, but all right. We'll start with, we got Gran Turismo, Gran Turismo 4, and Gran Turismo 3 A spec. These games could be dirt cheap. You can get these for two or three dollars easily. You, know, you look around because these games ain't very much. And this is probably the best Gran Turismo game out of the whole series. I mean, this is this is probably one of the best ones. You know, even A spec is pretty good. Really good game. Yeah, you know, don't go wrong, man. Get get some PS2. Get a PS2. Get some PS2 games. You ain't gotta worry about download content. You ain't gotta worry about the internet with it. Just get it. Oh, you can even homebrew one of those PS2s, you know, getting a uh, homebrew on your memory card and play, you know, and get a hard drive. And if you got one of the big fat PS2, get a hard drive in the back of it and you can back up your games on it. You can actually rip your games with the PS2 and back it onto your hard drive. You ain't going to use your discs at all, which is really good. But here's another great game. Dirt cheap. You can get this for a few dollars. That's Downhill Domination. Really awesome game. <laughs> Played the crap out of this for years. <laughs> this is not my original copy. My original copy I traded in. I had to go rebuy it again. Yeah. A good thing um was it? Blockbuster had a copy of it. Good old good old Blockbuster. But downhill domination. Awesome game. Downhill bike racing game. It's great. Anybody who likes to create music? I'm not sure what this goes for. I wouldn't think this goes for very much. Maybe 10 bucks. And that's MTV Music Generator 2. Create your own music with this. My buddy, uh, my other buddy, Rob, who's a guitar player, he used a uh, music generator on the PlayStation 1. He created some pretty cool stuff off from it. I can imagine what he can do with this one right here. Yeah, this is a more updated version of that one, the PlayStation 1 version. But, yeah, keep that in mind, you know. You want to create some music on your PS2? Good one to have. If my buddy Rob was a professional musician, he'd do it. You guys can do it. Let me see. We got Resident Evil X Cold Veronica. I was like, we got Resident Evil 5 Anniversary Edition, Devil May Cry bonus disc included. But this this game right here don't cost very much. If you just get the regular basic Cold Veronica X. It's probably going to be about five to ten dollars. It's not going to be very much money. You know, don't be afraid to check out Resident Evil games. Resident Evil Four is a good one to get to. Um, I got that Steel Book Edition of Resident Evil Four, pretty sweet. But yeah, good game to collect. We got this Need for Speed Underground. Actually, I got two Need for Speed games right here. Both of these really awesome games. This is Need for Speed Hot for Hot Pursuit Two and Need for Speed Underground. I got Need for Speed Underground 2. I'm just going to show one. These games are dirt cheap, both of these. Need for Speed is probably one of my favorite PS2 games. I love this game. This one's complete. I always like this game, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2. I play so much of this game. I like the, the action camera that goes around your car when you do some action with your car. It is really cool. Being the cop. 
putting out your road spikes and all that stuff with you with your cop car take out racers it's a great game can't go wrong with some need for speed ain't that right buddies then of course we got the underground right here like i said both underground and underground two awesome games good games to collect for like i said i paid 3.99 for that one 3.99 cheap cheap What's the sense of going out spending seventy dollars on a racing game on the PS5? You ain't got that kind of money. Go get a PS2 and go buy some racing games for that one. I got my Scooby Doo games here. Three of them. These don't cost very much either. Like this one was sixteen ninety nine for this one. Uh, First Frights is probably cheaper now by now, but First Frights, awesome game. I've always liked all my Scooby Doo games. Awesome games to collect for. Awesome. We got spooky. We got Scooby Doo and the Spooky Swamp. Another sweet one. I played the crap out of these when my daughter was off little and stuff like that. We both played them and we had a blast with them. Oh man, we had a blast with them. But they're great to collect for. Scooby Doo Mystery Mayhem. Yeah, I paid ten dollars for that one. It looks like maybe cheaper than that. This one don't have instruction books. So I must have got it cheap. So I'm going to say I got this for like 2 or $3. Awesome. Another awesome game right here. SSX. Another good one is SSX Tricky. The SSX series is good. I paid $1.79 for this. It's missing my game. Uh-oh. I have to locate where I got that one at. It don't matter. If I got to replace this game, I can replace it. I'm glad I see in that. I have to check all my games, make sure that none of them are missing. Holy smokes. SX, SSX is gone. It must be in my PlayStation. <laughs> I have to check it out. But then I got my Metal Gear Solid Essential Collection. Believe it or not, I didn't pay much for this. I think I paid like 20 bucks for this. Maybe less than that. But it comes with Metal Gear Solid, which is like the original PlayStation version of it. Metal Gear Solid 2, which is the PlayStation 2 version of it. Metal Gear Solid 3. These are like the last ones I'm going to show you pretty much. Yeah, these are complete. Yep. Like I said, PlayStation 2 is awesome to collect for. Don't be afraid to, to check it out. They're, they're, it's awesome. It's an awesome system. Wow, this has got two discs in it. Yeah, because it's the PlayStation 1 version of it. But yeah. Tell me what you think of this video. What do you think of collecting for the PS2? Give me a thumbs up if you like it. If you're into PS2, what's your favorite game that you collect for? If you don't collect for PS2, give it a thumbs down. Make sure you subscribe, comment down below. Like I said, hit, you know, hit that hit that bell icon and share the video with anybody else that wants to watch it. But hey, I'm gonna let you go. I got a benefit thing, a benefit to go to, and I'll check y'all in the next video. Bye.